Hey everyone, it's Christine here, and welcome to your reading. My Cancers, I almost thought about grouping you all by sign, but my computer can't take it. So we're going to do individual ones, just clearing the area. <sighs> How are you all doing? Welcome to your new moon solar eclipse in Taurus reading. I'm excited, we're gonna go deep and see what is going to happen, what things are changing, what guidance we have. I'm just getting a lot of decisions, a lot of avenues. I got a more of a laid back energy from you all. Literally like flowing. Some of you are taking this time if you are in the Northern Hemisphere to be outdoors, just getting more of a balance. It's weird how these, how every sign presents different energies. A lot of you have been very emotional, especially with the new moon coming up. But you all, all of the water signs especially, are so tapped in. Your intuitive sign, uh, intuitive sit signs. You probably all are receiving major intuitive signs, but your intuitive uh, abilities are very heightened right now. A lot of you are able to make the decisions based on that. You're all working. I'm getting a lot of people working on their professional aspects, on growth and development. Some of you are engaged in courses and learning workshops deepening your practices of what you do and these could this could include things not related to the job that you're in but maybe um a hobby uh something that you want to build up into something more in the future because i'm sensing a lot of creativity a lot of sacral chakra energy here it could also be that you all are uh, engaged in in different relationships, maybe amorous, but I'm just getting a lot of laid back, more relaxed energy. Your, your own internal compass has been helping you all with mapping out this next phase. Just serene, your energy is so different. Let's get started. Let me note here. I'm going to put timestamps for you all so you can if you like click through my intro and shuffle let's see what guidance oh you guys got a lot of cards cards i got five okay i heard and, and saw written take a take it I'm like that's a lot of cards there may be messages here for you all so let's turn them over one by one full moon in capricorn your polar sign take a reality check wow so some of you may need grounding I'm, I'm feeling some of you may be so into and again because of Pisces and the energy we're in we're a lot of us are not a hundred percent here we're thinking of things of dreams of the future and some of us have withdrawn and retreated but I'm getting a lot of you are very much connected to your intuition into the messages you're getting be careful to discern that because venus and pisces has the ability because i mentioned that sacral energy sacral chakra energy and some amorous love be careful of illusions you all are very care caregiving very giving very nurturing the mother of the zodiac you care about people and are supportive and are there for your friends family loved ones lovers be careful that you don't over give of yourself that you don't extend and be careful especially with people that you are dating with friends that you are surrounding yourself with i'm getting circles this could mean something different to everyone but i'm some of the people are not who you think they are pay attention the thing is a lot of you know this deep down but you just either dismiss it or you don't want to say anything for fear of confrontation or not wanting to express yourself this is about boundaries. Next card. 
What is this with all this full moon in Cancer? You all showed up in your own sign. Let your fears dissolve. Major full moon energies here. Look at this one. Really bright. You all are definitely feeling this upcoming new moon energy. It's just magnified. We got this with another sign, not water. Some of you may have fears cropping up as a result because you all are ruled by the moon. So you may need to ground yourself on earth. Literally look past the illusions and and what you want to see and instead focus on how things really are. Some of you are hermiting, taking time away from people, taking care of yourself. There's a sense of isolation, solitariness that I feel, but it's not bad. It's like to tend to your own self. Last quarter moon in Leo. Some of you may have Capricorn, Cancer, and Leo in your charts apart from uh, major placements, sun, moon, rising, or any other. Lighten up. You all are releasing a lot of uh, emotions, fears, insecurities. A lot of this has to do with your own inner work and your belief system. And that can be hard for many of you that are very much tapped into your emotion. You can feel it from others, especially. But be careful to, to overgive with that. Where you're going next, you're going to be releasing people. And it's I'm getting a strong sense of wanting to stay attached to some people. You know, like sometimes when you literally get a crab, if any of you have played with a crab or sometimes it gets caught on a towel or something, they like their little claws like stick on. I'm getting that sensation with you all. Um, it's not neediness. It's sometimes, how do I explain it? It's like, you know, you have to release certain people in your life, certain situations. It's more of the thought of what things could have been than what things really are that is having, that is making it difficult to let things go. Wow, that took a while for me to process. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. Ooh, big, big energy shift here. All these things are about releasing. Everyone is releasing people, places, things, beliefs that no longer serve them. Remember, if you don't do it, the universe is going to come in and whiplash you and do it. This is on course. You're stepping up. You are leveling up. The people that you once vibed with, the situations, circumstances, which are going to change with everyone, they can't come with you in this next phase of your life. Some of these people have been dimming your light. You need to trust yourself more too. There's a lot of self in this right now in many readings. Finally, we got first quarter moon in Leo. Whoa, some of you may have heavy Leo placements. We got Leo twice. Be humble. I see there's just a lot of Look at the people, like focusing on themselves. This is about you. Step into your power, but be humble. My Cancers, you all are humble. A lot of you are not showy, but you may have um, Leo Moon rising I got immediately, but any other placement. I feel like actually some of you do need to acknowledge your own gifts, your own magic, and... What's it called when you not when you brag about yourself? Toot your horn. <laughs> wow, a lot of inner inner personal transformation happening. Many of you are stepping up to the next level. For some of you, it's not comfortable that you may not have or want to be in the what's it called the spotlight. But wherever you're going to, you will be in the in front of a lot of you're going to be in the attention of people am i even saying that right you're going to be seen that's the that's the word some of you may not want to be seen and i'm getting you want to retreat 
it's okay. And I know the fear of being out. I'm getting different things here. Some of you have a fear of being seen. Like imposter syndrome, kind of. And then, then I'm getting for some, you don't want to, you prefer to be in the background. And that may have something to do with your worth and your value and what you feel you deserve. Self-love. I'm getting elements of that. Some of you don't want to be in the stage, in the limelight. But for others, you're stepping into this role and guiding others. So you are naturally going to be in that position. And this may take some time to cultivate. A lot of you are doing new things. You're going into leadership positions. You're going somewhere where the focus is going to be on you, which may be uncomfortable. And it's not, I'm not getting partnership here. It has nothing to do with love or romantic partnerships or friendships. Whatever you're doing, it's you're going to be like the sole proprietor. Literally, if you are owning your own business or stepping up into a leadership role, the focus is on you. You're not meant to sh share the light or shine the light onto others. It's supposed to be on you. You see how the, the moons are half and half, like lit and dark? You're meant to take those balls of light. They're for you. Look at that. A lot of them are dimmed. And you notice the Cancer one is the the brightest out of all of them. Do you see that? You all are meant to shine your light and you're dimming yourself. It could be because of your beliefs. Ooh, maybe this eclipse is going to completely <laughs> vacuum out any blocks for you all. Some of you have been working on uh, your self-talk, uh, your patterns, your what you've been telling yourself. A lot of you don't want to be seen. You want to kind of stay hidden. I'm doing why. I get it. I mean, it's scary when you're not really, when you don't put yourself out there or when you're not really out, uh, you know, uh, what is it, in front of others or getting attention, having attention be focused on you. But... See a sacred travelers. <laughs> I had to peek for that one. What message does the universe have for my cancers for their journey? Ooh. I see. I see and I feel a lot of you pondering what I just said about dimming your light, but I feel it's more you than others. Your light is the brightest. Look at this. Intuitively, you all know. Got to get out of that shadow, literally. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. You see how they're going off on the journey somewhere together and this one is going by by themselves? That's you all. You all are meant to stand in your light, in your power right now. You can't see what the, what the sign says, but they're two different directions. They're traveling together. You all are traveling on a different path. And there's such a contentment there. This is going to bring you happiness. You all know intuitively. Look at the face. You all know intuitively. But many of you are scared as F. Look at this. You have a lot of fears. And these are natural because it's just something new. It's something that's different. It's like when you... An example I'm giving, which may or may not be accurate. Maybe you're an accountant and you, you love working because it's... You can do it quietly, hidden. You don't have to be around people. and You're in your own world. And all of a sudden, you step into the role of public speaker. <laughs> totally different environment. You actually have to be in front of others. Granted, with the environment we are in now, you could use different platforms to speak on. But let's just say you were 
you're called to attend a, an event where there's going to be lots of people. It's that type of energy I'm getting. You are going off a different path. This is exciting. It's a new adventure, but it requires you to be courageous. It's okay to be scared, but you got to take steps towards that. You're going off on your own. Like I said, it has nothing to do with love, being like a hermit or solitary. It's simply stepping into your own power and acknowledging it. Super cool energy, a lot of strength. Some of you may be separating from a job and creating your own practice. Some of you have just realized your worth. You're no longer allowing people to dim it, to take away power. You're not giving your power away, in other words. Okie dokie. Let's see what the Keepers of the Light Oracle have. We get Bridget. Inner strength. This is Celtic. You can tell by the looks like a cross of design. Not very familiar with this culture. But the braided symbol. Some of you may have this heritage or may uh, what is it? A respect, re revere this. It looks like some type of is it goddess, a being. In their strength, move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have power. Look at this power. This is all about you. I'm also getting with the sun, with the fire, fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, especially Leo. And you had Leo come up twice here. Some of you are. You could have. Leo placements in your chart, but some of you are asking to embody the Leo energy. Be courageous. Go from the heart. You see green? The things that you love to do, the passions that you have will naturally lead, they won't lead you astray. That'll lead you, they will lead you to the next step and what you're meant to do. Some of you are going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. It's gonna be different. But you're being guided. You have more strength than you realize, and more importantly, you all know this intuitively. You're sharp. You're very sharp. The reality check may actually have to be with with you about not dimming your light or shortcutting yourself. I don't know why I'm getting resistance about this power. That means you're going to have to make some change, some move, putting yourself out there. This is an apps. I love the colors, the saturation. Fire is all about transformation and change too. And we have the solar eclipse, obviously, with this new moon in Taurus coming up. You all are stepping into your power. Get ready. You all are getting messages already about this. I can't believe how many cards are confirming this. It is time for you all to step into your power. Okay, we have the Dragon's Path Oracle. Let's see what messages we have. What guidance do we have from our Cancers for the New Moon, Solar Eclipse, and Taurus? These cards are so smooth and slippery. It's so nice shuffling them. I feel like with you all, I'm not getting the sense with messages because you have all of these internally. A lot of you are very open right now. One popped out. I think it was like, what the hell? We may as well come out. Balance. <laughs> Some of you may have Libra in your chart. Again, these don't have signs. Y'all are trying to seek that balance in your decisions of what to take. We also get it here too. You see the moon? light and dark a lot of you are trying to balance it's not i'm not getting ego it's you're trying to balance the next step and 
and actually you're you're going uh, how do i say it you're elevating big time you're leveling up and a lot of you i feel this with cancer energy like you're diminishing yourself you're like no no it's not it's okay like it's not really a big deal no stand up put your shoulders back acknowledge the gifts you bring into this world you have such an impact and you are in the process. Some of you have already been doing this, but you're making a big impact in the world and what you do. It, I feel like this balance, it's its like your, your frame of thinking, the way you think. You have the balance between, like this card says, being humble and being the opposite of being humble. Not almost like egotistical, but I'm not getting that from you all. You all are already humble and you're trying to be even more humble and it's almost diminishing your own light, so don't do it to yourself. Let's take a look to see what further insight we get with this oracle. Because a lot of times uh, I get the energy from others that they're supposed to uh, be a little bit more humble, but not with you all. You all are trying to be even more humble than you are. What you are experiencing in your life is in your life now is transitional. This dragon balance depicts aspects of us as a whole, our light and shadow sides. As humans, we show the world our many different sides, for we are multi multifaceted and can change from situation to situation. Those aspects could include our compassion, frustration, love, irritation, joy, and on, so on. This is to remind you that everything is perfect, even if the situation you find yourself is pushing your buttons. Balance says fear and frustration only serve one purpose, and that is to disempower. Life on Earth is all about achieving the personal equilibrium, seeing things for what they are, balancing your daily activities and demands with time to laugh and play. You run the risk of becoming too serious and caught up in the dramas that are unfolding in your life now by not allowing yourself time to play. What else? Um, I am the bringer of harmony restorative on an inner personal level and an outer global level. If you are wrestling with a problem that you are unable to resolve, ask her to bring her beautiful harmonious influences to the situation and guide you in any steps you may need to take. What areas of your life need reviewing? What do you need to let go of? Okay. Don't feel called to go more. This is about how you perceive yourself, not just within your own mental plane and your purview of yourself, your self-worth, but also how you do that in the world and what you do. Many of you are holding yourself back. Recognize that you have power. I'm just getting a lot of you know when you are on stage and they have the curtain think theater i see a lot of you just peeking out and when they call your name i'm just getting like no you don't want to it's like someone has to push you there's a lot of fear there of course there is it's simply acknowledging it a lot of this is new what you're going to be stepping into some of you are completely changing what you do for life or what you want to do for life in terms of your profession and making money you're changing your complete, I'm getting lifestyle change, physical and internally. Some of you may change how you dress, where, where and with whom you live, who you surround yourself with. All I'm saying out of all of these cards, your card with your sign, look at it. It like glows. You see that? <laughs> you all have so much power in you. It's about if you don't step into your power, this eclipse is going to force you into it. <laughs> Make that decision and allow the universe to guide you. You all have received this guidance. Why am I getting this ignoring? Just because you are very intuitive doesn't mean you can pretend not to receive these messages. <laughs> we are going to pull a self-love oracle. I think some of you may need to work a little bit more on your self-love and your self-worth. Because when you try to diminish yourself, and I was one of them. I'm a north node in Cancer, by the way. So my south node was in Capricorn. 
some of you may actually have that same uh, placement in your chart or vice versa. South node in Cancer, North node in Capricorn. But it's really about recognizing your worth and value and what you bring into this world and not about dimming it. It's also not about being humble. I think this is even more. It's beyond humble. It, there's almost a semblance of not feeling worthy enough to step on that stage. Just like this person is doing out here, almost like The thing is, the vicious cycles that you may have experienced in terms of things that are coming up repeatedly, and you're like, oh, when can I just leave that? Step into your power, otherwise you may get another cycle of that. It's scary stepping into anything new. I get it. I changed fields and careers. It's different, and it takes some time getting used to. But this is where you are meant to grow. This is your path. Look at this. You all are headed on a new journey. This is going to take your inner strength. That's why I said many of you are you're going solo on this. Again, it has nothing to do with having no friends, having no romantic life. None of that. This is about your personal inner transformation, your strength. I'm getting stubbornness. Some of you definitely have um, earth in you. I'm getting Taurus or Capricorn. I'm getting, like, when people dig their their heels into the dirt, I got that. And I just got annoyed. <laughs> okay, we got one card. I just go in into mom mode right now. Sometimes I just want to take a pillow and, like, throw it at you all and be like, Liz, just look in the mirror. I don't think you guys realize. Look at this card and look at this, the moon. Different elements, but they're powerful. You guys have to balance that, yin and yang, but perhaps that's where it comes from. Balance the need to shy away while balancing the need to stand, to actually be focal point. But it, it's it's beyond that. It's, it's, it's more. Where did the card go? Oh, shit. You all, I pulled a card. Okay, this is it. <laughs> I saw it before. Conquer fear. This looks like a dragon. I didn't know this deck had dragon, the self oracle. Look at it. It looks like a dragon of swords. Conquer fear. Most fear is based on illusions, on truths we deny to avoid change. Release your need for control and perfection. Doing your best is plenty. All these signs so that I've read so far are getting similar confirmations. Let your fears go they're just an illusion that's where your cap counterpart your polar your polar sign comes in take a reality check they're grounded they see things for how they are take the cap capricorn energy a lot of these fears and illusions they're all in your head literally they're all you they're real and i don't want to diminish that that's a thing because you feel it in your body and so they're real just as much as you know seeing a flower on the ground but remember that sometimes we conjure up our own fears that don't exist or that haven't happened. We manifest this stuff. You all are in for a huge, fast transformation with this solar eclipse. This is really exciting. But you all are working with your own. Releasing fears is going to be a big one. Your own inner blocks self-limiting beliefs, things that are holding you back, things you feel like you can't do. They're like, I'm too old, too young, don't have enough experience, I can't do this, I don't have experience, I don't have money. This is a totally different field. Just remember, every step you take, you are supported. We co-create with the universe. It doesn't work just by saying a wish or an intention, and then we sit on the couch and hang out. <laughs> and I keep getting, you guys are getting these messages, like you know this. I think some of you out loud have acknowledged this. Just take the tiniest, tiniest uh, step. Look at this, some of you may have red hair. Do you see the beans? Some of you may be of Celtic ancestry, 
descent may worship the gods goddesses from this lineage i don't know i'm not very well grounded in, the, in that some of you may be irish from wales ireland northern ireland scotland in that area man of isle i'm also getting uh, it's like northern france it's another region but look at the hair. There's something about red hair. Some of you may be working with dragons already. They are, this is, let me see which dragon it's from. This is about change, three and two. 32 may be a number, a prominent number for you. It tells you the, the types of dragons here. Conquer fear. Oh, this is not a dragon. Oh shit, I'm looking at the dragon oracle. This is a self-love oracle. They're two different decks and I'm looking it up. Wow. Okay, soul journey number. I can't believe it. There's something with dragons. Oh shit, you got a lot. There's something with dragons here. You got one dragon here. This is from the dragon's path. This is from self-love oracle. Some of you work with dragons already transformation they're going to help you transform you can call on the dragons there's a bunch of dragon meditations that you can do online find one that resonates okay we have two failure I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn some of you may be afraid of failing and stepping into this path empathy I am open to seeing both sides of a situation I feel this is a natural cancer trait. You all, many of you are empaths, but you are all are able to understand and step into the shoes of others. But this relates to you, to your own journey. Some of you may be afraid. This, these may be some of your fears. We got fears here, fears here. Fear of failure. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're, you're you may be afraid of a failing or succeeding. I'm getting the alternate I see I always think Aztec Mayan some of you may have Aztec Mayan ancestry here I don't know why I get that you are being guided though you need to hold empathy for yourself it's easier isn't it it's so funny how it's easy for us especially you all cancers to extend empathy to others but when it comes to doing it for yourself it's it's hard it takes work it takes practice I feel like if this was reversed and we were talking about a friend of yours you would be like yeah I know I need to help her I can I can help motivate her empower her and I'm just using her as it's gender neutral um, I'm not talking about any specific gender I just to her to be anyone I wonder how I got a quiet, quiet energy from you all. You all know more than you are taking action on. <laughs> okay, let's see what self-care message is in store for you all. Oh, we just got out. Build strength. Six. Yep. You all need to work on this. Look at this. Build strength. Either strength. Standing in the truth of light. We also get step into your power. Yep. You all need to embody. If you don't have Leo in your chart, you need to embody that Leo courageous energy. Doing something. Literally, some of you may want to or may enjoy doing strength training or doing something that makes you feel powerful, something that's different. Maybe boxing. Tapping a little bit more into your masculine energy. Because this is going to help you conquer and literally get over these fears. Again, when you start something new and take that first step, it doesn't mean that you are completely fearless. No. Many of us, when we do something new, start something new, there's elements of like, oh my goodness, this is so different. 
And it's okay to feel that way. But you're going to do it and tap into your intuition, your third eye. Can't keep. I can't say it again. Or well, I will. You're just getting a crap load of, of messages confirming all of this. Okay, let's see what messages you all are getting. Or excuse me, what am I talking about messages? We're going to see what super attractor affirmation you all can use to help you with this inner strength, with knowing that what's coming next, you all are protected and guided. This is all about you releasing your own fears within your own patterns, your self-limiting belief and talk. It's about you. You may want to set the intention for this new moon to release any of that. You'll have a very stubborn energy right now. Perhaps because you already have this information, you already have gotten these messages. And you don't want to be called out. <laughs> I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. Look at that. This is a beautiful message for the new moon. Or any time. By dimming your light, this has something to do with your self-worth and your value. It's about building yourself up and tapping into that magic. Very reminiscent. But different elements. I'm getting moon stars. Do you see that? You all are being asked to tap into that courageous Leo energy. I'm getting a lot of you have it. This is such a beautiful message of transformation. I hope this helped my cancers out there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. I look forward to seeing you again soon for your May monthly reading. Take care and have a beautiful day or night wherever you are.